With all the links in place, we have finally arrived at the very important stage of a project, and that's the iterative process, the sharing process of your, your app, until you're very happy with the final end result. Um, and that's going to be done in the share workspace. So let's share your very first project. Um, and that will give you the options to, uh, yeah, to create a link for an online review of your app. So when I go to my link settings, it will allow me to uh, manage all my links and it will give me a list with all the apps that I've, uh, that I've created and which are online, quite a few already. And I can create a new link for this very new app. So let's select a new link, which is the default. Um, and then it's going to be titled my science app. Let's call it demo. And there are a few view settings to go through. So we've got a design review, that's the default, and it will allow you to share your project to somebody else and they will be able to, to give feedback on your project. So let's uh, see what that does later on. Uh, of course, when you want to uh, build your real app, because this is only going to give you a prototype, but when you want to give it uh, uh, to a developer and in order to create a real app, um, then you need to share it out for development. You can also share it out as a presentation, which will allow you to present your, uh, your class materials in a presentation, a beautiful design presentation. Uh, user testing, of course, very important, or a custom viewing experience. Um, but in this case, we want to have a design review. Somebody else uh, needs to give feedback in order to let me be able to create the perfect app. So let's create a link. It will upload everything to the cloud and create that public link, which you can share to anyone that you'd like. This is the link. Just click on it and the link has been copied. Now, what does that look like in the browser? Let's go to the browser, paste the link in there. And then it will fire up your app, which you can go through by just going through all the artboards, but that isn't that much fun. Um, we want to be able to click in the app, scroll through it like you would on your mobile, and see if everything works perfectly. When somebody feels like, well, there is something wrong with the app or um, has some, uh, some positive feedback, then we can make a comment. Maybe we need to have a hamburger button instead of the science logo. Um, we can also pinpoint it over here and then submit it. I will be notified, well, hey, there is a comment on your design um, and I can reply to it and work my way through and make it a better app. Um, so what I could do is go back to the design view, zoom in a bit more. Alter the app a bit and add the hamburger menu very quickly. Five points. Alt drag to create another few. Let's group it. And of course, this needs to link back as well to the main menu. Command C, Command V. Of course, this needs to shift aside as well. And then this button, this very new button, needs to go back to the previous artboard. Let's save it and let's go back to the share option because this is the iterative process. We said, well, okay, the, the, the feedback is correct. We need to do something with it. So let's update the link. And when it's done, go back to the browser again. Let's reload it because the link stays the same. Yeah, I think that's good. So reply, please take another look. Um, and in that way, we can make sure that everything is, uh, is in order. Um, so this is what you can do uh, with the sharing out option. Of course, you can share out the link as well with your students. 
in order to teach them something uh, through an interactive app on your school, college or university for whatever subject. Um, so I hope that you like XD as much as I do. With use of interaction in your course content, it will bring out the best for your students. So thank you for watching and good luck and have fun with Adobe XD.